this is a second video about combinations of transformations. So set on a set of axes, plot the point A22, two, two, B53, and C54. Triangle A dash, B dash, C dash is a reflection in the line Y is equal to X. Draw the triangle A dash, B dash, C dash. B. Triangle A dash, B dash, C dash is rotated clockwise 90 degrees about zero, the origin zero, zero. To give the triangle a double dash, b double dash, c double dash, draw and label the triangle a double dash, b double dash, c double dash. And then triangle a double dash, b double dash, c double dash is rotated 180 degrees about the point minus one zero. To give the triangle a triple dash, b triple dash, c triple dash, draw and label the triangle a triple dash, b triple dash, c triple dash. And then triangle a triple dash, c triple dash, uh, B triple dash, sorry, C triple dash, it's in large scale factor, 0 0.5, the center, about center R minus 1, 0, to give triangle A triple, uh, A four dash, B four dash, C four dash, draw and label that triangle. What is the single transformation that maps the original triangle ABC onto A triple dash, B triple dash, C triple dash? And what's the single transformation that maps triangle double, A double dash, B uh, double dash C double, double dash to triangle A uh, four dash B four dash and C four dash. So to do this question again, I've got a GeoGebra applet, and the um, applet I will put in the notes of the uh, video, the link to it, so that you can look for yourselves. Right. So we've got here uh, plotted the points A, B, C. So labeling the points is going to be very very important. So the first one was to reflect is uh, to reflect air uh, in the line y is equal to x. So drawing on the line y is equal to x. So you should draw it on with a dotted line and make sure that you've labeled it. So what happens here? Point A is what's uh, known as invariant. It does not move from that point there. So A will be there, but B will go across the diagonal, will go there, and then C will go there. So if we just click that, we can see the image. Then it says that uh, A dash B dash C dash is mapped onto the next one by a clockwise rotation of about zero zero. So uh, if you uh, mark on the point zero zero which is there, put, take a piece of tra pa tracing paper, trace it out. Okay so there is the uh, center. So you trace around that one there. Okay and then uh, clockwise is that way so it will rotate clockwise with your tracing paper like that okay so when you get to 90 degrees okay you will need to put a point on each of the vertices and that will give me the uh, image a double dash b double dash c double dash okay so far so good Okay, so then that triangle is then mapped to the triple dash by a clock burn rotation, 180 degrees about a different center, which is one uh, minus one zero. So it's a different center, which we're gonna call point R here. Okay, and then I'm going to rotate that 180 degrees about that particular point. So get same idea, you trace around this. Okay, so you trace around that and then you move it doesn't matter whether we go clockwise or anti-clockwise this time because it is uh, 180 degrees and then it gives you the new image okay so if you click on that that gives you the new image I'll just take that one off okay but I'm going to leave the point because I'm going to leave that for the final enlargement right then the next uh, thing is to uh, enlarge this triangle with scale factor 0 0.5 about this, uh, the center minus one zero. So to what we need to do is to enlarge that. But if it's a scale factor of 0 0.5, even though we said enlargement, it's going to be actually smaller. So what we're going to do is that's the movement of the transformation. I'm going to get on 0.5. Okay, so how would we uh, do that? Then we would need to measure, uh, this is six along three up, so we would need to go three from R, which is minus four, but don't forget R is on minus one. So this is six, so half that distance is minus four. So half of six um, 
is 3, but we need to add 3 to minus 1. We'll go back 3 for minus 1 to go there. Okay, and this distance was 3 squares up, so therefore this is 1 and a half. Similar idea for B, uh, for A, sorry. So A is uh, 3 along, so therefore it will be 1.5, and then up 1, because uh, this is up 2. And the same idea for C. C is going to be uh, 5 along, and then up 5, so therefore this will need to go 2.5, up 2.5, and then join them all up. Okay, so if we click on that, we then get the um, the final image. Right, now we need to answer these questions. What what was the single transformation that takes A, B, C to A triple dash, B triple dash, C triple dash? So what takes that one to that one? Okay, so if we uh, if we can see that this if we take away let's take away that one that might help us a little bit more better to see it. Okay, if you probably can see that that is a reflection in the line y is equal x sorry x is equal to minus one, so you should draw in the mirror line and label it. Okay, so just check that that's three away. That's uh, three away. This is going to be five away. So this is also five away. And this is uh, six away from the mirror line. And therefore it's six this way. That's that's straightforward. And then the final thing is what is trans single transformation will take this one on to this one. Well, this is actually an enlargement. Okay, scale factor uh, minus 0 0.5 about the center minus 1, 0. So you can draw the lines there. And if I do the, um, sorry, if I do the uh, transformation, so I'll move it from there and then go, uh, to here. Sorry, let's have a look at that enlargement uh, again. So if we click that here, right, so if we, uh, it is minus because uh, we are going to go the opposite side of R. Okay, so we're going to go the opposite side of R and you can see here it's going to be uh, a scale factor of minus 0 0.5 center minus one zero. So we'll just repeat that again. So if we can take that back to there, okay, the transformation is going like that. And then because you go to the other side, it gets inverted and then it goes to the point minus 0 0.5. It will coincide with the image that we wanted. Okay, and drawing these rays on will help you find the center of enlargement if you can't find it without by just looking at it by eye. Okay, so this has been a video to show you different uh, combinations of transformations. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching. And again, the GeoGebra applet that you've just seen will be in the notes of the video, the link to it. Thank you very much.